All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dumb coming back with another video. And today, we're in this video, we're going to talk about the Arizona Diamondbacks for a minute. Uh, as you all know, that that's my favorite MLB baseball team. That's a throwback jersey that I have. I really like these jerseys. Uh, the pinstripes that say Diamondbacks on them. Um, they made a trade with the New York Yankees. They got... Uh, Lacast Tim Lacastro La uh, from the New York Yankees in exchange for left-handed pitcher Ronald Roman and cash considerations. Now Ronald Roman, uh, he'll probably be down in Scranton Wilkes Bear for the Yankees, the Scranton Wilkes Bear Yankees. Uh, he probably won't see the big club for probably a few years. But uh, I like the I like the trade. I like Tim Lacastro. Uh, I've seen him in a couple. Uh, games. He was like a call up for the Yankees. Uh, I seen him in a couple games and I really liked him. And uh, welcome to the Arizona Diamondbacks, uh, Tim LaCastro. Um, we could really use you down in Reno. He'll probably be thrown in like double A or single A though and work his way up. And Ronald Roman, uh, good luck in New York. Uh, that's a that's a tough place to play. The media is tough. Uh, the fans expect a lot and. Uh, I think you'll do good there, though. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have also signed infielder Wilmer Flores to a one-year deal with a club option. The one-year deal will cover his final arbitration-eligible year with the club, uh, potentially covering one free agent year, uh, the option. The club option covers one free agent uh, year. Given that the deal is worth $3.75 million, a sale... Uh, Salary, a $6 million club option for 2020. Uh, Flores will most likely play every day in the infield. Uh, he's a second baseman. So uh, he's a longtime Met. He's played for the Mets. So we got two New Yorkers in, or two guys from two New York teams. We got Tim LaCastro from the Yankees. And we got uh, Wilmer Flores from the Mets. Now I like this signing. Um. I've seen a lot of Wilmer Flores. Uh, the Diamondbacks play the Mets two series a year. One's a four-gamer usually and one's a three-gamer. So we play them seven games uh, every year. And I really liked Wilmer Flores. Uh, I, I, I like the signing. I think he's going to fit in well. Uh, we needed a guy that, uh, a bat to replace Paul Goldschmidt. Now this isn't really the bat that, that I wanted or need or think we need. We still need another bat, um, although we do have Eduardo Escobar, uh, John Jay, who we lost. I really like John Jay, who we got in a trade with the Kansas City Royals. We lost him to the Chicago White Sox, so uh, I want to say good luck to John Jay in Chicago. Uh, I hope you do well with the White Sox, um, and I think you will. You've done good everywhere you went, basically. Um, but yeah, so uh wanted to talk about the Wilmer Flores signing. I think he's going to do really well playing second base. I think they're going to move Jake Lamb to first base, and they're going to bring in a third baseman, I think. Um, we still need to make a trade or two. We still need to uh, bolster the bullpen. Uh, our starting rotation is fine. We got Robbie Ray, uh, Taiwan Walker, Zach Granke, um, I think Archie Bradley is going to be the the closer, um, but I think we do need to bring in a uh, a relief pitcher. Uh, although we just got one, uh, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, Robbie Scott, I think. Uh, I think we got him from the Reds, I do believe. Uh, so Robbie Scott, yeah, um, he probably will be uh, like mid to late relief to uh, set up the closer. But I do like the moves that they've made so far. Uh, I really wanted John Jay to resign uh, because of the trade of Paul Goldschmidt uh, to the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, but I think this team, uh, I think they're, they're moving in the right direction. This year is going to be a rebuild year, which sucks. But um, next year, I think they're going to compete. They're looking forward to uh going far in 2020 so look look forward to that and uh stay tuned for my buffalo sabers at vancouver canucks preview 
which is coming up very, very soon. And they got the win last night, which is which is awesome. I'm, I'm so happy. But uh, this video today was about the Arizona Diamondbacks. So comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. As always, this is Sportsdom, and you stay classy YouTube until my Sabres at Canucks preview.